let me, let me give you a mic each so you have them for future reference. All right, so, she, so Shebby is trying to decide whether to throw his sponge or not. And suppose that Shebby knows, suppose that Shebby knows that Patrick is not going to shoot, is not going to shoot next turn when it's his turn. Right, so Shebby's trying to decide whether to shoot, and he knows that Patrick is not going to shoot next turn when it's his turn. What should Shebby do? Shebby, what should you do? Take a step. Take a step. So he says take a step. That's right. Why should he take a step? What's the argument why he should take a step? Well, let's find out. What's the argument? Because I'll get another... I'll just be one step closer and I'll have another chance to decide. Shout anyway. it out so you can be heard. Yes, that's right. That's right. Sh shout it out so you can be heard. I'll, I'll be one step closer and I'll be able to make the same choice next time anyway. Good, good. Hold, hold the mic up, up to you. You're a rock star now, okay? All right, good. All right? All right. All right. He, he, he's correctly saying he should wait. Why should he wait? Because he's going to be closer next time. He's going to be closer next time. So the first fact is, assuming no one has thrown yet, assuming no one has thrown... If player I knows at, say, distance D that J will not, will not shoot, let me call it tomorrow, and tomorrow he'll be closer, he'll be at distance D minus 1, then, shall be correctly says, I should not shoot today. And again, recall the argument. The argument is you'll get a better shot, a closer shot, the day after tomorrow. All right? All right? Now let's turn things around. Suppose, conversely, once again, we're, we're, we're picking on Shebby a second. So Shebby has his sponge. No one has thrown yet. And suppose Shebby knows, suppose Shebby knows that Patrick is going to throw tomorrow. Right? Suppose he knows that Patrick is going to throw tomorrow. Now what should Shebby do? Now what should Shebby do? Now that's a harder decision. What should Shebby do? All right, he, he knows Patrick's going to shoot tomorrow. What should he do? Should he shoot or what? what, what what's the answer this time? What do you reckon? It depends. It depends. I think it's, that's the right answer. All right, it depends. Good. So the question is, someone else, I don't, want to pick, I, don't, I don't want to pick entirely on these guys. So what does it depend on? Right? It's, it's right that it depends. What does it depend on? Yeah. If the other guy's chance is greater than or less than 50% of getting you. All right. So it might depend on the other ch chances being, being less than, greater than less than 50%. It certainly depends on the other guy's ability and on my ability. Everyone clear on that? But how exactly, everyone agree that whether I should shoot now, if I know the other guy is going to shoot tomorrow, depends on our abilities. But how exactly does it depend on our abilities? Yeah, go ahead. Um, it depends on if... Shout out. Uh, it depends on if your probability to hit is greater than his probability to miss. Good, good. Your name is? Osman. Osman. So Osman is saying, let's be careful here, it depends on whether my probability of hitting, if I throw now is bigger than his probability of missing tomorrow. Now, why is that the right comparison? That's the right comparison because if I throw now, my probability of winning the game is the probability that I hit my opponent. And if I wait and take a step, then my probability of winning the game is the probability that he misses me tomorrow. Right? So I have to compare winning probabilities with winning probabilities. I have to compare apples with apples, not apples with oranges. Everyone see that? Okay, so let's put that up. Right? So the same assumption, assuming no one has thrown, if I knows at D that J will shoot, will shoot tomorrow at D minus 1, then I should shoot if, need a gap here, if I's probability of hitting at D, and let me leave a gap here, is bigger than, let's make it bigger than or equal to, it doesn't really matter about the equal case, is big, greater than or equal to J's probability of 
missing tomorrow. Right? Because this is the probability of probability that you'll win if you throw, and this is the probability that you'll win if you wait. Okay? So let's put in what those things are. So the probability that I will hit at distance d, that's not that hard. That's P I D. Everyone happy with that? What's the, what's the probability that J will miss tomorrow if J throws? What's the probability that J will miss? Somebody? Shout it out. Yep, shout it. Right, one, let's be careful. So it's one minus PJ, but what distance will they be at? D minus one. So it's one minus PJ, D minus one. All right? All right, so this is the key rule. If Shebby knows, if Shebby knows that Patrick's going to shoot tomorrow, then Shebby should shoot if his probability of hitting PID is bigger than Patrick's probability of missing 1 minus, P, uh, one minus uh, P Patrick D minus 1. All right? Now I want to do one piece of math. This is the only math in this proof. All right? So everyone who's math phobic, which I know there's a lot of you, can you just hold on to your seats? Don't panic. A little bit of math coming, okay? This is the math. I want to add, I want to add PJ D minus 1 to both sides of this inequality. All right, that's it, okay? All right, so that, what, what's that tell me? If I add PJ D minus 1 to this side, I get plus PJ D minus 1. Everyone happy with that? And on the other side, if I add PJ D minus 1, I get just 1. Everyone happy with that? All right, so here's our rule. Our rule is... If, if, let's look it around. If Patrick hasn't thrown yet and thinks that Shebby is going to shoot tomorrow, then it, Patrick should shoot now if his probability of hitting now plus uh, Shebby's probability of hitting tomorrow is bigger than one. All right? Let's call this star. Let's call this star. And let's put this stuff up somewhere where we can use it for future reference. All right. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm, I'll use it again in a minute. I know, I know you're feeling uh, self-conscious up there. Believe me, I'm self-conscious up here too. So. All right, okay, so let's look at that star inequality up there. Now, way out here, is that star inequality met or not met? It's not met, it's not met, right? Because way out here, these two probabilities are small, so the sum is less than one. And in here, is, this pro is, the, is the star inequality met or not met? Uh, I mean, let me pick on you guys. So, Patrick, is it met or not met in here? Sh shout into your microphone. It's met. It's met. Thank you. Okay. All right. So, in here, in here, the inequality is, is met. The sum is bigger than one, and out here, it's less than one. If we put in all the steps here, here they are getting closer and closer together. Here's the steps. They get closer and closer together. Right. We put these steps in. There's going to be some step where, for the first time the star inequality is met. So notice that they start out here, they get closer and closer. It's not met, 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 and suddenly it's going to be met. Maybe around here. Let's just try and pick it out. Maybe it's, maybe it's here. Right, so this might be the first time that this star inequality is met. Let's call it D star. Right, everyone understand what D star is? At every distance to the, at every one of these steps to the right of D star, when we take the sum of the probability at ID plus PJD minus 1, we get something less than 1. But to the left of D star, or closer in than D star, the game is proceeding this way, it's proceeding right to left here, they're getting closer and closer. To the left of D star, uh, it, uh, the, the, the sum of those probabilities is bigger than 1. All right, so say it again. D star is the first step at which the sum of those two probabilities exceeds 1. All right? Everyone okay about what D star is? Anyone want to ask me a question? Okay. People, people should feel free to ask questions on this. I want to make sure I'm, everyone's following. Is everyone following so far? Yeah? I need to see all your eyes. You don't look like you're stuck in the headlamps like you were on Monday. All right, we're better off than we were on Monday. Good, okay. Okay, so here's our picture. Uh, and I actually want a bit more space. Mm, I'm not going to have much more space. All right. 
All right? So now I'm going to tell you the solution. The solution to this game is this. I claim that the first shot should occur at D star. Right, so that's my claim. The first shot should occur at D star. No one should shoot until you get to D star, and whoever's turn it is, whether it's Chebby's turn or Patrick's turn at D star, that person should shoot. That's my claim, and that's what we're going to prove. Okay, everyone understand the claim? It says, nobody shoots, nobody shoots, nobody shoots, nobody shoots, nobody shoots, nobody shoots, shoot. Okay? Okay? All right, let's prove it. Everyone ready to prove it? Yeah? People to be awake. If your neighbor's not awake, nudge them hard. All right, good. All right, let's start this analysis way out here. Well, let's start way out here, miles apart. All right, these guys are miles apart. Now I want to use those props. So I've got these guys. Let's put them, stay, stay where you are, Patrick, but stand up. And stay over here somewhere, but just where that black line is. All right, so maybe they're even further than this. They're really far apart. All right, and here they are miles away. And let's say it's Shebby's turn. It's Shebby's turn. He's way out here. Right, it's the first step of the game. Imagine it's even further, because it was even further. All right, and let's think through what should be going on in Shebby's head. All right, there are two possible things going on. He's going to think about what Patrick's going to do. So this is Shebby's turn. Here he is. All right, and he should think tomorrow it's going to be Patrick's turn. All right, and there's two possibilities. One possibility is that Patrick is not going to shoot tomorrow. All right? And if, if we think he, that Patrick is not going to shoot tomorrow, which fact should Shebby use? Should he use fact A or fact B? Fact A. 